What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rafan, and today I'll be watching the movie known as Agora, and it's been requested by a uh, patron over on Patreon. By the way, full length reaction to this will be available on Patreon. I will also, this very video will be available earlier on Patreon as well. So if that's something you want for the future movies, you can. And if you want the full length reaction, that's still there. A patron requested this movie, and so here I am watching it. It's called Agora 2009. Now, the thing is, I wrote the movie down here and it's 2009 that's what the patron said but i have it here on amazon prime and it says 2010 i normally don't read the little description but i did for this one because the dates are not the same to make sure that it was the same movie and it is so uh all i know is whatever is written here over here a little paragraph said in alexandria so on and so forth so it's basically all the way in the back <laughs> in time although in the back seat no uh so we're gonna go back in time a little a pride and prejudice movie by the way was suggested by the same person yeah this person has a good uh taste also that was also like far, far back in the history although not this far back this is way way back but yeah, i've never really seen this movie before and uh well that's why i'm seeing it if i had seen it before it probably would not have you know i probably would not be watching it here so yeah that's the movie i don't really know what else to say because i don't know anything about this movie but um yeah it's gonna be an interesting one i hope it is at least two hours and six minutes and 57 seconds hd bro all right so that's the movie without any further i'm out and do <laughs> let's do this <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's play. Oh no, my headphones are not on. What production is? Huh? Oh. Oh, uh, this might not be in English. I do have subtitles, right? Yes, I do. No, it says audio English. But the Spanish, I don't know. Um. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll find out soon, I suppose. That's all right. I've got subtitles and everything, so even if it's not, it's all right. All right, here we go. By the end of the 4th century AD, the Roman Empire was on the verge of collapse. At Alexandria and the province of Egypt, so it retained much of its uh, splendor, boasted uh, one of the seven wonders of ancient religion, the legend of the lighthouse, as well as the greatest library on earth. The library was not only a cultural symbol, a symbol, <laughs> symbol but also a religious one, a place where the pagans worshipped their uh, ancestral gods. The city's long-established pagan cult was now challenged by the Jewish faith and rapidly spreading religion until recently banned Christianity. Yeah. I'd make a great commentator. Bro, where are all the broadcasters at? Hire me. <laughs> How many fools do you think? Okay, it's English. Let the stars fall from the sky, following the most perfect course ever conceived. Mm. Circle. The circle. All right. Because the circle reigns in the. Hmm. <laughs> but in Agora. What about here on Earth? Bodies do fall. But their movements are not circular, but linear. Oh, wait, what does that mean? The guy has like a necklace with... Oh, wait, I assume that's... Those are like symbols or something. ...lurking beneath the earth that would make every single person and animal and object and slave settle there. Wow. Animal, object, and slave, eh? Lady? No. Sinesius? They're, uh, they're waiting. <laughs> it's part of it. Your feet are standing on the very center of the cosmos that holds all things together and, and pulls them together. If yeah. Is that guy, I thought he was like a teaching assistant or something, but it might be a slave. Because when she said slave, it did like a focus on him first. But anyways, Library of Alexandria, 391 AD. It's interesting, you know how back in the day there would be like a 
little area that would be developed and then outside of it is just barren land. Also, they're wearing their ties on their skirts. How respectful I am. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Those are gods of Egypt, right? I have Egyptian friends. Um, I sometimes talk about it. It was like a movie, actually, that they wanted me to see. And as always, I never saw it. <laughs> I was busy, man. I <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Apparently there's a movie about that as well. Tell the master we're leaving. I thought so. So he is a slave. Wasn't that one of his students? Her students? I'll mix up his and her. English isn't my first language, so... Ignore that, please. I'll make many mistakes, as you might have already noticed. But I already suggested that he devote his heart to another muse. One more. Beautiful than I. I don't know if you'll be able to find that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Listen, hold on. Uh, he's listen. He ain't the first uh, fantasize about his teacher. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Ooh, nice. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think from what I read in that little description. There are like three people who like her or something. So one of them's a slave. If my gods eat and drink and fornicate, good for them. You who console yourselves with pagan images. Oh, I see. Serapis, who could trust a god with a flower pot for a crown? <laughs> Thread. <laughs> Reminded me of Thranduil, you know, the guy, uh, the king of elves from The Hobbit. He's like, excuse me? <laughs> I look beautiful with flower crown. Enough, enough. <laughs> it's like a rap battle. Let's go. Now walk across the fire. My God is the true God. I shall suffer no harm. If, however, your gods exist, they were rocking like a pig. With shoes or without shoes? With shoes. Come on. That's a simple physics. But anyways. Across the fire. Bro, you'll be fine. Just f do a fast walk like he did. He's got shoes on, right? I think I wasn't looking at it. Okay, well, that's not going to help at all. Who's this? Who's is this? Yeah. The Christians burned a man. Unfortunately, they did. I will not have this in my house. Not in the house of Theon. So it is hers. Master, I beg mercy for your slave girl. Hmm. Avis. I too am a Christian. Punish me for the both of us. Get a whip. Father. <laughs> Calm, for you. Wait until you come. I beg of you. What? Let you whip? <laughs> I beg you, let me whip. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe he likes getting whipped. I don't know. Then why didn't he burn it? Because you rolled in it. You didn't walk on it. <laughs> and Neil. I'll get to work. Sorry. 
Oh, she's going to like heal him or something. There it is. This guy's like, you know what? If you're going to come heal me every time I get whipped, let's do this. Mistress. Why not? If I said yes, that would be a lie. Oh, so he's not a Christian. If I said no, I mean I lied to my master and I don't know. Yeah. You should say nothing at all. Well, you've said more than enough already. I want you to know that the master is upset with himself about this. Oh, really? Well, all his wounds are gone now, now that he knows the master is upset about this. <laughs> but it looks like a... What, like a bonk? <laughs> Not that I would know. Oh, is this like a... Like a, yeah... The stuff that she t teaches. He's learning. He's learning. Heaven that errs, but her eyes it sees. Well said, Davis. I'd like you to know that your exposition shows me that you've been paying closer attention. Oh, he has been paying close attention. Others here? <laughs> it all seems so whimsical. Orestes, by what authority do you judge the work of God? What is wrong with you Christians? Okay, it's Christian. Open his mouth in this city. You criticize creation. You criticize our Lord, and you offend us. <laughs> Yay! This is my comment section. <laughs> what is Euclid's first rule? Why the question? Just the guy doesn't like questions, eh? Come on, man. If, uh... Two things A equals B, B equals C, A equals C. They are all equal to each other. There it is. More things unite us than divide us. We are brothers. I want you to remember that brawls are for slaves and for riffraff. There it is. I was... <laughs> Poor Davis. I was just going to say, what about the guy behind you? He's your brother too? No, we got our answer. Hmm, <laughs> he doesn't look happy. Well, why would he be? The Lord... So how are you Arbalano? Ammonium. Ammonium. Ammonius Arbalano or something? What do you have in that sack? Do you have any food you? Which sack? <laughs> I have to pay for that with my own money. <laughs> what do you need money for? Bless you. See? That is the miracle. What's the price of that miracle though? Or Davis, I mean. <laughs> Davis, the slaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that I mean. I thought it was his name. Herbalano. Okay. Oh, he's a performer too? I'm here to declare my love for Hypatia, the philosopher. Time now, following her counsel. Okay. Myself to music. <laughs> oh, lovely. But for me, such harmony resides only in my lady. <laughs> well. Stop talking. <laughs> We're setting up the scene for the next. Oh, scene? <laughs> or the background for the next scene. Looks like they're wrestling. Oh, wow. Can hear it all the way up here? Probably not. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, they used to have, well, they still do, instruments similar to this. They sounded very similar to this, and they would play it. And I would make like the a snake dance. And we had one in our house and I was so afraid of playing it. I thought if I play it all the <laughs> snakes would like come out as if there were like a hundred snakes hiding in my house waiting for me to play. <laughs> if my prepared fruit was a banana and not the fig, I would have already fallen at his feet. <laughs> Uh, lovely. 
granting him your daughter's hand. I preach her, subject to a man, no freedom to teach, even to speak her mind. I mean, you could set terms before marriage. <laughs> no, that would be death to her. Of course, but... Oh, she can hear it. Even today, you know, there are more uses of marriage, you know. Oh, well, it's quite a condition to have. <laughs> okay, see, so these are the two. Where's the third? There's a third person in there some, or is it two? I might have misread that, I don't know. Maybe they meant the three as in these two, and then she's the third one. Seen one of your colleagues present me with Olos. Olos, is that what it's called? Today I wish to make him a gift of my own in return. <laughs> is there like dirt in there or something? Oh. Cycle. Okay. That you have found harmony in me. I am suggesting that you look elsewhere because I think that there is little harmony or beauty in that. Don't you agree? I don't. Hmm. Parabola. We will discuss the hypothesis. Really? Not entirely sure that was supposed to mean. Got an idea. I'll talk about it at the end, though. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Christians have gathered in the Agora. They are mocking the God. They will fear our swords. I have a feeling this movie is going to piss me off, isn't it? I am trying to protect our disciples. You are inciting them to be violent yeah. murderers. Yes, you are. You have the last word. It's gonna go with them, of course. The insult must be There it is. Answered. Let's choose amongst you do as you please. This is not good on earth for standing up, you know. Tell them. Expect us until we have them surrounded. The clubs are for the slaves. Slaves! Clubs are for the slaves. <laughs> that kind of club. <laughs> The slaves are more likely to become Christian because of the whole, um, you know, equality thing. Makes more sense from their perspective. Do you hear any complaint? One has lost her voice too. Like I said, I'm getting. Annoyed. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I agree or disagree with them. It's what they're doing. The way they're going about it is just... It, it's so wrong. Like, alright, these guys are now attacking just innocent people. Like, oh, he just killed a woman. What did she ever do to anyone? Yeah. That was to be expected. So this has just started a war, right? All out war. Now the Christians are going to reply, and a bloodbath, because obviously. <laughs> it is just so unfortunate. It happens everywhere with any, any two religions. Just take any of them. And the point of religion is to bring people together, and it just... It's because they... Anyways, doesn't matter. Fedoras! Take care of your master! Protect him! You, what are you looking at? Get the damn fight! Is it a Christian? I guess I presume most of the slaves would be. That, oh wait, is that like a symbol or mark of the master? Probably is. He's gonna kill him, isn't he? Yep, he is. He just did. Doesn't feel too good, does it? Oh, is he gonna attack him? Christian. So you are. Christian. 
Oh no, that's not a sword, so he's, he's fine. Well, he's not fine, but you know. Those are, those are the Christians. Okay, there you go. So, well, that, that was actually really quick. <laughs> what did they expect? Like, they're just gonna sit there and like, all right, come on, kill us. Like, Moses slave. Oh right, cause they're Christian. Right. Yeah, you shit yourself now, haven't you? Dumb masses. This guy, remember what you said about the sword? What do you fear, eh? Because guess what? Those swords are coming for you. God to protect them. Christ. Whose side is God on? They both claim it's them. Ooh, some of them are trapped in here. All right, okay. Any Christian you catch is now a hostage. Ay. A Christian turned into the cellars. And anyone with a good eye and a good aim. Is he the only one who knows? Or like the students? This one is a Christian. Okay. Imprison my brothers, then you're going to have to imprison me with them. If it is necessary, I will do that. Anyone! There lay a finger on one of my brothers. I thought so. I swear I'll run him through. And they are all brothers, including the sister. She's a brother. Rest is. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Since when were there so many Christians? <clears throat> yeah. So you thought there were a few, so you could just kill them? Now that you know there are so many, you negotiate. No one should leave the group. Please. Yeah, well, that's how you're going to be safe amongst this bullshit. <laughs> I like her clothes. They're very similar to the clothes our women wear. You know? Got a little cloth that goes around as well. Oh, those are the Christians. Lady, sister, and mother. May God bless you and protect you. <laughs> Lady, brother, and mother. Get it right. <laughs> Resist! <laughs> and there it is. Foot fetish. <laughs> I don't know what people see in it, but... To each their own, I suppose. His wish came true. His prayers are answered. Hmm. They're stuck inside, I see. So they're not... Are they getting, like, supplies from our side, or are they just locked in? Because, like they said, they're going to soon eat each other. They're going to run out of food. Well, you have been very foolish by giving them the order to go ahead with the sword. I don't know why you thought that would end well for anyone. Anyone. I do think to you. How could... Okay, that looks serious. I wanted you to be free. I am free. Hmm. In here and in here, she's free. What's that carpenter god of yours doing now? Building coffins for you! 
Well, these guys are good at freestyling. <laughs> Put the fire out. Does she see like stars or something? Some phenomenon? Probably. That day that you criticized the heavenly mechanism and you no, the heavens should be simple. Am I right? <laughs> There's no right and wrong here. What if there were a simpler explanation for the wanderers? By the wanderers, they mean the planets and the the whole the stuff that go around, right? Like moon and all that. Aristarchus maintained that the Earth moved. The strange behavior of the wanderers was nothing more than an optical illusion. By our movement, in combination with theirs, around the sun. Okay. Make Earth just as well. Another wanderer. So that okay, there are planets. Do they include the moon in that? Do they include you? <laughs> if the Earth is moving, every time you drop an object, it would fall further behind. I feel that what you just said can be refuted, but now I don't know how. Hmm. That's interesting. Are they gonna show that? I think they might. The focus on the flags. Okay, I think they might. It's a very interesting movie. There's so much going on. There's the whole, well, science aspect, and there's the whole politics, and there's religion, and... There's, I think, love. I'm not entirely sure about that one, though. Okay. Christians will abandon the Serapium and the library immediately, allowing the Christians to enter and dispose of the premises. The books. Good, good man. He thought of the thought of the things that matter the most. Perfect. We won't be able to contain this not for long. Mm mm. Leave the lesser works. I was gonna say, what do you consider lesser? Well, you guys were ordered to leave, so leave. Don't just stand there. Hey, the soldiers gave you a chance. Take it. We need more help. Get like a. Oh, is he done? He's he, he might be done. That injury looks serious. Get like a huge cloth thing. Put all of that in there. Tie it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, like that. Like the way they're doing that stuff. Save your lives, man. Slaves, come on. Get out. Lady, we have to go. Pick up the sack! Why are slaves never around when you need to? Move, move, move your feet! Move! We're all equal. We're all equal. Davis? We're all hypocrites as well. Very much so, unfortunately. Run! He should have ran a long time ago. Davis, where are you going? If he wants to die for our gods, let him. He's an idiot. Nah, he's an idiot. Bye. They're not that different, different you know? That's what's, like, annoying me, is that... I mean, just look at the actions of the two sides. They're not that different. Well... <laughs> They're not here for you, Davis. They're not here for you. Watch out, I was gonna say. <laughs> hmm. 
Also, like, aren't those pillars holding up the roof? It's going to bring the... Bring it down. Is this it? Is this it? Davis has uh, moved over to the other side. Hello from the other side. He's a Christian now. Years of frustration. Davis the Conqueror of Agora. Mm. Fanaticism. Extremism. The master's wound is festering. I know. Idiot. You forgot to say that. I know, idiot. <laughs> I like her, but, you know, it's difficult to keep, like, your current view to the side, you know. Bias, I guess you would say. Because this is a completely different time. Like, in their time, this is fine. This is normal. But it's pissing me off. You know what I mean? That's what happens. That's not him. That's not what he wants. Well, not exactly, at least. Hmm. Does that mean he's free? You're free. Let's go. Okay, now you're making me like you. I mean, I liked her already, but you know. It was the one thing that I was like. <laughs> After the storming of the library, I'm being converted to Christianity, Alexander, and George. Okay, I see. Yeah, now only complicated by the Jews. The library some years later says, so see, this is this is exactly what I was saying. It doesn't, it's not about paganism or Christianity. It's just fanaticism, extremism. That's what it is. The religion doesn't matter. Because I doubt any of these religions say this. Like I said, they're supposed to bring us together. It's certain people taking advantage of it, using it to gain political power. You know, that's what I see here. And everywhere, really, unfortunately. As the bishop is the new bishop. Davis. Oh, oh, oh. Jews, okay. No, Jews! No! Just the labels have changed. Everything else remains the same. There are more things that unite us than divide us. We are brothers. We're all brothers. <laughs> he used a line from... A, a line from... Hypatia? I forgot her name. <laughs> Their teacher, basically. Arrestus is now... There she is. The prefect. What if really he was addressing you and not them? Me? Well, I'm as much a Christian as he is. <sighs> Became a Christian. Wait, are they married? To take the sack and climb to the top of the mast. <sighs> Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Lovely. I'm excited to see this. Will you finally tell me what the point of all this is? I know what the point is. When Aspasius drops the sack, the boat will be moving forwards. Therefore, the sack won't fall at the foot of the mast, but it will fall further back. Okay, cool. That's, that's what they were talking about earlier. Yeah. 
There it is. <laughs> but the same principle could be applied to the earth. Is applied to the earth. Why do you torment yourself? <laughs> Years ago, I talked first and thought later. It would make a cute couple, but she's not interested in that. The earth is flat. <laughs> Head is flat. <laughs> Why does it change size from summer to winter? Sometimes it is nearer, and other times it is further away. It's a wise man right there. In a circle around it. Always at exactly the same distance. And then it's going to be further away. There's upon circles. I do not know how to resolve this conflict. Like Davis said, only God knows. <laughs> so tell me, what do I do? Best me. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> it's interesting, you know. Wait. It's a fire. Is this a trap? I feel like this is a trap. Yep. There you go. And now there's gonna be a fire, yeah? No, but they came prepared for the fire though. Okay. And there we go again. Yep. And then when they leave, there'll be another group to take on. Grieve no longer for our dead brothers. Shed your tears for the others. For their executioners. Yes, we for them, for those. Okay, I see. Because it is they who repeat the words of the scriptures with no understanding at all. The blindness mocked him and crucified him. Here it is. Those evil butchers of our Lord. God's will that they leave as slaves, cursed and exiled until the end of time. Oof. See her? And she sees it. Okay, yeah, they do. They both saw each other. When this is all over, there will be no more Jews in Alexandria. Okay. Cursed and exiled, eh? You should have him arrested. If you choose to do nothing, though, I believe Cyril will continue to do the same thing over and over again until, until there is no one left in Except Christians. I get her point, I mean. First they kill them, then they bury them. Bishop of Cyrene. Oh! He became the bishop! Lovely. When I get to sit here and listen to you again. <laughs> Two of our students. They've done well, huh? They've done well. Do you ever think we're mistaken? I was forgiven, but now I can't forgive. Forgive who? The Jews, or Jesus pardoned them on the cross. How dare you compare yourself to God? <laughs> Don't come to you. The Mars you meet him in the library during the Sunday service. Only Christians have been permitted to enter the library since it was taught. Why not let yourself be baptized? <laughs> it's just a matter of time. This all life holds for me. I mean, they might as well have just gotten married. Or are they married? I mean, I I don't know. They're just together all the time. So, devoted wife and mother. I think everyone in this city knows the story of the handkerchief. Who have I ever loved? <laughs> Except you, Libanus. Just unravel this and just get a little closer to the answer, then, then I would 
than nothing. You would want to get Perhaps even closer. I don't think you would. It does not necessarily mean the Earth moves. But what if it does? Let's say it does. What does it change for you? Nothing. I don't know. In a perfect circle. It does help future generations, though. The thing is that she's saying I'd be, I'd die a happy woman. No, she won't. Because it doesn't matter how many answers you find. That's the thing about philosophy. There's always more. There's always more, more, more. You'll never be satisfied. You could read a hundred thousand books. Know every single piece of info that has ever existed. You will still not be satisfied. Obviously, that doesn't mean give up. Hopefully, you know, each generation gets closer and closer to the answer. So I'm not sure. I thought they were married, but I don't know. Are they? Let a woman learn in quietness and in full submission. I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man. That's what happens when you don't control things, eh? Politics. 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 Kneel before it and embrace its truths. <laughs> what now? What now? I am a Christian! No, I'm a Christian! I'm as Christian as you are! Told ya. It's not about paganism or Jews or any of that. That's not the problem. The it's the mob mentality. Extremism, fanaticism. Doesn't matter, they're not listening. Leave. Leave, leave, leave. This is not helping anyone. How could such a thing be possible? <laughs> Right. At the moment, your presence on the street is not advisable. For what reason? They didn't tell her? Cyril has made some serious accusations against you. You're a witch! Hermione. <laughs> what does he accuse me? Ungodliness and witchcraft. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I love this guy. He's taking a lot of interest in Something it, you know? Bun. Is something ever not bothering her, man? Come on. She has the mind of a wanderer. Like the planets, it's never still. Prefect, the wound is not yet closed. Get out. Get out! Come on, man, let them finish. Well, that went well. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> I swear your loyalty to me. Condemn him or get out. I don't know if he can do that. Why didn't you need What choice did I have? Betray Hypatia! Condemn her! I would never offend God. He's offending him. He's twisting his words. He's using the scripture. He read what he's written. The scripture is correct. Ah, man, it's amazing. It's amazing. Neil. Bend the knee, Jon Snow. Not now. You know, was, I'll talk about it at the end. We want justice. Hmm. <laughs> I was just thinking, what are they going to do in reply? May God show us the way, my dear Parabolani. Well, you weren't going to follow Jesus' example. When David suggested that, you said, how dare he compare himself to God. It can hurt him where it hurts most. That whore. I thought they were gonna go for the woman, uh, Hypatia. See, this is what I was trying to say earlier. Unfortunately, the world we are in, a marriage would be a very good option for him, or for her. It provides protection. How could it occupy two positions at once? Slave is brilliant. Into that torch. Uh oh, <laughs> it's gonna catch fire. Figure will we obtain? And a 
egg. I'm a lips. <laughs> It's the button on the right of the PlayStation controller. Come on, everybody knows that. Perhaps I'm completely raving. Why should this be so? Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm... <laughs> Told ya. There's no satisfaction for the wandering mind. Could well be so, mistress. Learned, I'm assuming he's learned all of this from her. It's amazing. That guy is very smart, very wise, I should say. I presume he did not learn that from a very young age, but rather when he was older, right? Still, to be able to pick up on things, it's lovely, rather. Well, that looks like the shot from the poster. Kind of. The sun or moon is up there in the top. Yegos! What are you doing? Is he gonna tell her that they're planning to attack you or something? We've yet to embrace the Christian faith and be baptized in public. I am not a member of government. We are all good people, but you, you are as Christian as we are. You don't question what you believe. You cannot. I must. The mistress is not. Sergeant, where is she? It's Sergeant, please. She's at the Prefix Palace. Where? Prefix Palace. The prefix Palace. <laughs> oh no, she's in trouble. I was a slave once. <sighs> she's so stubborn. If you, if you don't agree, I won't be able to protect you any longer. I mean, you, you can just do it as a public display, you know. I mean, uh, anyways. Tony, I can't defeat Cyril. Cyril. Long ago, actually. I don't need you. Oh, but you do, though. Oh, no. Fuck. What is going to happen? Now what? Well, I mean, I think I know, but... Is this really worth it? Like, Strip her naked. what's the point of that? Only God can behold you in all your filth, whore. Let me skin her alive. No, don't stain your hands with impure blood. That stone, this witch. Get some stone. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I thought he was gonna kill her, but... Yeah. Recent burnt in a pyre. A saint and doctor of the church, Cyril. The fish first survived as known as she was a young astronomer and renowned for her mathematical studies on conic curves. Mm, yeah, Kelper. <laughs> yeah. Transponics. All right, that is the end of that. Okay, so a lot to talk about. It's quite a movie. Wow. Okay. Um, thank you for the suggestion. That way, patron. <laughs> uh, if you want to see the full length reaction, it is available on Patreon about the movie. There's a lot going on in this movie. That's why it's so hard. Like, I don't even know where to start. So many different topics societal issues religion and honestly i mean 
It's somewhat accurate, no, and I, I, I said it during the, the reaction as well. It's it's not really specific to any one ideology or religion or group or society. It's really all. And obviously, well, there was there are things that were in there that doesn't happen anymore, like the slaves, right? That was one thing that made uh, Hypatia, I don't know how to say her name, imperfect was well there were a few things actually but that was one of the i'd say most people would sort of disagree with that than any of her other things and i'll talk about some of the other things as well and i don't necessarily agree with but i think there would have been a better way of going about it i should say this as well i think i'm religious religion to me was taught a bit different I mean, I'm just thinking about that one line that she said to that bishop, right? That, um, you cannot question what you believe. Well, that's not what I was taught. I was taught to question what I was, uh, what I believe. But I, I'm not a Christian, so maybe it's different in Christianity. Although my religion is very close to Christianity. It's like one of the close, two of the closest religions ever. You know, these two are considered. But anyways, that does not matter at all because, like I said, it's not about Christianity or Jews or science or pagans or whatever. It's not about that at all, I don't think, at least. What I got from it was extremism, was fanaticism. And it is visible not just in the Christians and the Jews and the pagans, but it's also visible in the teacher. That's what I was talking about when I said she's imperfect, not just in the fact that, you know, she kind of believes in slavery, but also she's an extremist as well. She believes in her ideas so much that she was willing to give her life for it. And I just don't think that's worth it. But that's just me. There's a saying where I come from, and it's a very beautiful saying, and I hope more, more people would sort of use that in their daily life is that, um, some people say this is good, some people say that is good, but I think mine is good for me and yours is good for you, to each their own, simply put. And, uh, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a beautiful saying, I love it, I love that saying so much because there's so much behind that, I mean, there's so much wisdom in it so profound it's so deep and it can really bring people together in a way i mean it doesn't matter who you are if you really think about that i mean it helps you understand others and makes you more tolerant which is something you don't find uh, with each day tolerance you know it's leaving us it doesn't matter what where where you fall again it's not about religious people or non-religious people i want to make that very clear it's not about that at all both sides have good and bad people both sides have fanatics and i thought maybe if she had just accepted baptism or whatever they were offering she could have lived peacefully a marriage would have been helpful i know that's not what would make her happy but that would make her safe safety is something important as well right you know, it's difficult. By the way, I'm not saying that I disagree with her, although I do in some aspects. What I'm saying is there there were better ways of handling her situation than the way she did, which was just flat out say no. I mean, it was clear and she said it that the guy had already won and he had won, by the way, from the point when the prefect or Orestes or whatever his name is had allowed the attacks and all that to continue. He said, I can't do anything about it because if I do, then half I lose the support of half the city. And right there, right there is when you lost. You're done. You're like, I'm going to defeat him. No, you're, you've, you've been defeated long ago. Strategy. You know, there wasn't much of it. I, you could also say that, well, I don't know if they would have stopped at baptism. And that's a very valid point because we saw what I just said, right? When he, when Orestes allowed those things to happen, that was supposed to be the end of it, but it wasn't. So in a way, you could say, well, she did what she thought was right. And sure, it cost her life, but she died believing or holding on to her beliefs, which is not something most people can say, unfortunately. 
But at the same time, there's a very good chance she would have... I mean, we were all going to die. It's not like we're going to live forever, but there's a very good chance she wouldn't have been... I mean, I don't I don't even know what to say about that last scene, how she died. Like, what the... F what is that? Like, I don't... I guess death is death. I guess it doesn't really matter how you die. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I feel like she could have handled her situation a lot better. She could have moved to another place as well, although it's quite difficult, especially as a single woman, to start, you know, in a new uh, city. Yeah, this movie is difficult to break down. I mean, it's it's so hard. It's so hard to... I mean, it's heartbreaking, right? It's it's really, it's it's difficult to talk about it even. Like, I'm finding it difficult to find the right words because I don't, I don't, I don't know what to s <laughs> You know? I don't know what to say. They showed the, the mob mentality. And unfortunately, we see that today as well. It's, like I said, it has nothing to do with religion or any of that. It's something entirely different and you see it all over the world. It had to do something with a certain religion or a group and it would only have happened in a certain part of the world or at a certain time in history. It has happened, take any decade, man, any, and pick a, just draw a circle on the map. You'll find 15 of these events in there, like, it's just ridiculous. It's like Arrestus says, you know, they're using God's word to sort of gain power, prominence, political, um, what, what's the word? I forgot the word. Uh, leverage? No, like, when you become more important, gain political importance, I guess. Hey, there's a word for it, man, I forgot. English is my first language. There, there's another saying. Now, that saying I don't like too much. I like to add more to it. There's another saying where I come from as well, is that the difference... There, uh, it, It's a question. What's the difference between a corrupt man and a non-corrupt man and a person? And the answer then is people like try to answer and then they say, well, the difference is one is in power and the other has yet to be in power. Basically, power makes you corrupt. I like to think power makes you just more of who you are. I think if you were corrupt from the first day, then you'd be more corrupt if you gain power. If you were a good guy from the start, if you weren't corrupt, then you'll be a better person if you gain power. Again, that's putting it simply. That's not exactly how it is. I mean, your surroundings change, the people around you change, and all this impacts you and your development nurture right in nature is important but there's in the nurture part as well so all of that is at work so i there's it's just too complicated to put it simply like that that's why i don't like that one all that much although there's a lot of truth to that and there's another saying it's what's the difference between a thief and a innocent person the innocent person hasn't yet been caught stealing so but there's a lot of pe pessimism there and i don't like that right i like to think optimistically but then again, that's not realistic. Uh, that's idealistic. And I don't like that either. Because like I said, uh, if you want to be an idealist, you end up like Hypatia, right? Or Hypatia, uh, th that, that woman, you end up like that witch. So you have to be, there has to be a little bit of a realistic element as well. Maybe I'll accept Christianity. Or don't, but just do it for a public display. Show them, you know, that you're you're on board, even if you're not. It makes you dishonest. But, you know, uh, another saying, sometimes lying is as important as telling the truth, if it leads to the truth eventually. And uh, this is one of those things. Maybe lying would have been the right move. I don't know. It's just incredible to think about how you have to navigate to make a life you, you justify lies as truths just to survive you know i mean if there's a saying for something that means it didn't happen once or twice or three times it happens thousands of times that's why it caught on 
I think there might be a little more to those sayings being a reality as well as that. Like I said, it has to happen so many times. Why are these sayings particularly so pessimistic? Well, and again, this is just my opinion. And if you disagree, please. And I, I, I'm sure a lot of what I'm saying is just bullcrap. So please, if there's something that you disagree with or whatever, just mention in the comments. Just be respectful, right? That's the whole idea here is opinions uh another saying incoming opinions are what evolves us when you believe your opinion is the only one and the just one and the best one that then stops the evolution so let's share our opinions but also remain respectful at the same time let's not act like these people both of them both groups or well there were many groups actually but basically, essentially, there were two groups on each each side. Those two groups, both are at fault. And the reason being were both were disrespectful, right? Both did not, both believed their opinion was a fact. In fact, that leads to problems. But like I was saying before, the power makes you corrupt thing, right? I was thinking if it is true that power makes you more of who you are, then it is also true that it is more likely that people who are ruthless and, I guess, willing to think outside of the box and, I guess, go outside of the law, expand their morality a bit <laughs> in the worst way possible, are the ones who often find success or power. And so, therefore, then when they find power, it is more often that they are even more corrupted because they were corrupted from the very start and... Their corruption led them to a position of power. In other words, nice guys finish last. Unfortunately. Man, this movie sucks now that I think about it. It's making me realize how horrible this world is that we live in. <laughs> it's reality, you know? Showing us our true face. People don't like it. Also, the pursuit of... I guess happiness or prosperity, what does that lead to? What does the per, what is it, per, per, uh, something, uh, the, those fanatics, basically. How did they start, right? When Davis first meets that ammonious guy or whatever, what is what does he show them or show him? He shows them all the poor people they're taking care of, all the needy, all the hungry that they're feeding. He shows them the peace, the unity, the the happiness that sharing brings a community and that's how it starts and davis joined them because davis was mistreated very uh, much so i mean he was a slave to begin with and so then it was so easy for him to go in that direction because those people welcomed him with open arms whereas the others welcomed him with whips so it was so easy for him to switch sides there as well and that is what pushed him away when he realizes that what he's doing is wrong. You know, when he's sort of forcing himself on uh, Hypatia. Well, what does he do? He is like, he, he falls on his knees, gives her a sword and says, all right, come on. Uh, this is... So it all starts with, I guess, a good message, but in the pursuit of power afterwards, that pureness with which they started it was lost over time and it was all to gain power uh, same thing for Orestes. why did things get out of hand again it was political power he didn't want to lose that power so he allowed some of the things to continue so yeah in a way now that i think about it it's actually lord of the rings ring the one ring precious i mean that corrupts people well what is that that is in a way a symbol of power i guess so i don't i mean it's just all bad is that what it is i don't know i don't know how to i don't know i i, I think it's more complicated than that but it might not be it doesn't seem like it is another very important thing i wrote it down it's one book versus many which is the one book right bible or torah or quran or any of the sacred texts 
People who read that one book, they're so much more satisfied and also, I mean, it's amazing really. There has to be something special to it, right? If I read one book and I'm more satisfied than the person who's read a thousand, and that's what I said about the wandering mind and that, uh, the, the witch, <laughs> uh, Hypatia as well, that it doesn't matter. It does not matter. She said, if I get close to the answers, no, even if you get the exact answer, you will not be satisfied. That's not how your mind works. That's the beauty of you. That's what makes you, you, you're so different than anybody else because of your mind. Your mind will never accept that. You will continue on. You will look for more answers. There are way more questions to be answered that even now are not answered way more questions than the answers we have and your mind will never sit still it will wander and keep wandering that's why i was like no 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 you think you'll be happy i don't think you will be that's not how you were programmed <laughs> you're a thinking person thinking mind but yeah it does make you think doesn't it someone who has read one book has more joy or happiness or whatever you want to put it satisfaction than someone who's read a thousand um i mean i guess it kind of works in the favor of the religion that look i have just one book and it has given me more than your thousand books you know oh the blood i wrote that as well blood no beauty so the blood scene that was quite interesting as well the handkerchief they mention it there at the end as well i am not entirely sure if i understood obviously i'm not entirely sure if i understood anything i'm just sharing my opinion but I, um, was she there sort of saying that you don't love me for the right reasons? Is that what it was? She was, because she showed him something that, I mean, all women go through. That's just normal. And she said, it's not very beautiful, is it? Don't you agree or something? And maybe that, that that's how they thought at the time. And uh, maybe that's what it was. But I mean, that's how women are i mean i don't understand what's so ugly about that i mean that's just how you are you know it's um part of you it's you you know i don't i don't really understand what the point of that was she said there's no beauty in it sure but how does that change anything i don't so i'm assuming what she was saying was you like me for all the wrong reasons. You don't like me for my intelligence, which she values most. And I learned that as we saw more and more of the movie. At the time, I wasn't even thinking that. I actually, the more we saw of her, the more I realized she, that's what she values the most. And so it makes me think, in a way, if his approach was different, if it wasn't about her beauty or physical appearance or whatever, it, if it was about... The rest is, I mean, if he talked about her mind instead, would that have had a better impact? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe that's what it was. If someone can help me out with that scene, I'd very much appreciate it. But um, if it was a comment on liking the physical appearance, then I mean, that's just basic biology. That's just how humans work. You know, the first thing that attracts us to someone is their physicality. I mean, we don't know what their mind look like, looks like, but I know what her face looks like or her body, right? So that's the first thing. I'm not saying that should be the only thing, but that is the sort of the first step you take. That's where it starts. If there's no physical attraction, things are not going to move to the mental attraction. It moves to the mental attraction after the physical attraction, right? You find someone attractive and then you go talk to them. And after that, you're like, oh, okay, I like her mind too. And then you're like, all right, this, this, is, this could go somewhere. So I, I'm, you know, if that, that's what it was, then I mean, that's just how we are. <laughs> that's just how humans are, you know? I don't really blame the guy. But yeah, this was a very different movie. Again, <laughs> this person... Hold on. I mean, I'm going to butcher your name either way, if I read it or don't. But at least let me try. I could try, right? <laughs> H. Morier. I think I'm saying that correctly. I'm not sure. Please correct me if I'm saying it incorrectly. But yeah... The Pride and Prejudice movie was suggested by this person as well. I mean, I like watching movies like this. I like watching them a lot because it makes you really think. And especially for someone like me, I like to play the devil's advocate more 
often than not. I mean, a lot of the things that I'm saying, I don't personally believe them, but I, I have to explore both perspectives, right? Both sides of the arguments, regardless of whether I fall. I have to listen. I mean, if I want to make an informed opinion, and that is important, you don't just need an opinion, you need an informed opinion, then you have to listen to both sides. And it helps me when I try to think about things from both sides. And maybe it'll help you as well. Maybe I'll say something you haven't heard before, and maybe that'll be helpful. And at the same time, it lets you know what I'm thinking, and then you can sort of give me your opinions um, or, you know, rebuttals or whatever. Although I don't really want to make this an argument or a debate, just an exchange of information, exchange of, you know, a piece of our mind. Very different movie, a very tough one to break down. I mean, I, I honestly don't know what the hell I said <laughs> this whole time. I'm just talking. I don't know what I'm saying, man. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't bore you too much. It was a beautiful movie, though, for sure. A lot of uh, reality, which makes it sad, which is sad in itself. But that's just how it is. That's the... Anyways, yeah. Thank you for watching. Let's end it on a happy note. <laughs> oh, we could try. Anyways, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, if you did, do drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, I'm doing plenty of other things. I promise I'm not this torn apart, my mind running in so many different directions, trying to figure out what to say, how to say, and when to say, I guess. But yeah, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. I'm going to be starting Star Wars and Fantastic Beasts and many more series like that as well soon on the channel and uh, if you want to see that subscribe some of this stuff is already lord of the rings and harry potter is already on the channel i'll see you guys in the next video until then have a nice you filthy hobbitses <laughs> uh, i feel tired you know